yes, this is definitely a different wig. It is not the same one as before. Nonetheless, welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you all how to install this wig using bolt hold lace tape and um, the glue. As you see, I'm going to moisturize my lips as usual because these things do get dry. So for the things I'm going to use, as always, alligator clips. Um, I'm going to use my makeup brush and powder to blend in the wig seamlessly with my natural scalp. Also brushes to comb and brush the hair out of my way. Some freeze spray and holding spray because I'm going to add curls to this hair. Also some 91% isopropyl alcohol and cotton balls along with a comb and a razor. Additionally, I will be using some foaming wrap lotion and eco styler gel for my baby hairs with my mirror, of course, my handy dandy mirror. I might need two for this one. I think I ended up using two. And my favorite fan, there she is. So you see me making this weird face. I'm gonna be looking down, but there's a lot of sun in the way I apologize for that uh, yeah it's gonna change later but I do apologize for this <laughs> so the star of the show is the bold hold lace wig tape as well as the adhesive um, I'm just gonna let you all know I ended up loving both of these the lace the tape I don't know if I'm gonna use that often but I ended up loving that as well Okay, that's where the light bothered me and um, I changed it. So, to get started, I'm going to be looking down in the mirror and at the viewfinder to make sure I'm in focus. Just to, you know, show you all things up and close. I'm going to move the wig out of my way and make a funny face. Yeah, so I'm moving this out of the way to prep it. First, by adding the, the actual powder to my hair. I don't like using foundation, um, liquid foundation, because I feel like it... Oh, also, I'm, <laughs> I'm explaining how to do these steps to my sister. But I feel like the liquid foundation gets on my hair more, and I don't like that. Like, it, it starts to make your hair smell, so I don't use it. But I end up cleaning that foundation up with the alcohol. You all know the routine. I tend to clean up this step a lot or these steps often with the alcohol. Then I'm going to go in and make sure that it's actually blended in nicely, which it is. And I'm going to see where I actually want to cut this lace off because most of my wigs that I have been showing lately with all of these methods have been new. Yeah, all of them actually have been new. So yeah, I'm going to clip the hair out of my way so that I don't cut anything um, off unnecessarily because I have to get these, these ear tabs done first. So yeah, I'm going to pin that out of my way and then I'm going to make sure the lace is where I want it to be before I go in and start cutting it up. So yeah, as you see, I ended up cutting the lace off first before I did the ear tabs. But now I'm gonna go in above my ear and go up in a curved motion. Like I said, I'm explaining this to my little sister because I created her a wig and you all may have seen that video before you've seen this one. More than likely you will because I edited that one first. But yeah, I cut that ear tab off. Well, cut me ear tabs on, but cut unnecessary lace, the unnecessary lace off. I'm just going to do the same to this side as well. 
And yeah, make sure you're careful with this part because you don't want to cut the hair. You just want to cut the lace and the hairs off that you're not going to use. So once done, I'm positioning it to make sure it's where I want it to be. And I actually still have hairs on the side, which I do. And I'm going to move and try and position this wig exactly where I want it to be. And this actually for me, because I have a lot of forehead girl, is going to take several attempts. So yeah, I'm making sure it's where I want it to be. And I'm still, again, explaining this step to my sister. But I explain why I want the lace to go in front of my cap. I'm going to make a detailed video about this as well so that you all you all understand why also so yeah i'm going to position this back and then go in with the glue and this this technique and step is the same as the ones that i've used in the past and yeah ooh, okay yeah i'm still going to use that because this stuff is a um, it's too good to just let any unnet, um, excess material or product just fall. But yeah, I'm going to rub this in. And it looks like I'm using a lot, but I'm not. I'm putting some on and then I'm spreading it out as thin as possible. And I do this method and this step three to four times just to make sure I have a good hold. And seriously, if you do it like this, I'm I'm just telling you now you will get a nice use out of your um well a nice wear from your wig i guess i would say probably four no a week to two weeks of wear if you take care of it you definitely can get more than two weeks but because i work out i like to change my wigs out as frequently as possible just to clean them because of all the sweat and oils that are inside of them but yeah I'm going in with more layers like I stated and be sure to make sure you clean your fingertips as often as possible because the dried up glue will interfere with you being able to add on another layer so make sure you clean off your fingertips or whatever utensil you're using as often as possible before you go in with another layer because that clump will roll on to the old um, or the, the product that was laid previously that had already dried. That's like one of my biggest tips. Also, I believe I stated this before, make sure the product is clear before you go in with another coat. Like that is key. The product has to be clear, like as clear as possible, not cloudy, clear. I can't stress this enough. Um, and if you have a, like a product that is, uh, what is it called? If you have a portion of your um, product or the glue that is not clear, don't go over it with any foundation or anything like you have to clean that off or try and smooth it as much as possible because that foundation area will stick to it and then it'll become darker than the other areas so yes i'm still going over it with another layer i didn't speed up this process I'm going over it with another layer and waiting the seven minutes. I'm also going to add the tape because I wanted to see how the tape worked. I definitely do like the tape. So yeah, I'm going in by adding that only in the areas that lift often for me, which are the areas around the mouth. So the jaw, since the jaw moves a lot, that area lifts more with the glue or any adhesive that you use. So I wanted to see if the tape will be easier because tape is more flexible than the glue. And it, it worked amazingly. So yeah, I'm going in and I'm adding this in front of my, um, my cap a little bit 
and then on the cap as well and I know it looks like my lace is super super close to my eyebrows it's just because my eyebrows are naturally very very long and then I'm gonna just peel off well before I peel off this I'm going to add a little adhesive just to make sure that the bottom portions of the tabs are covered because I didn't want to add any more tape to that area if I didn't have to. But yeah, after that, I'm going to eventually go in, excuse me, and take the pieces of the tape off. So I'm getting as close as possible so you all can see. I get in front of the glue. It is imperative that you lay your lace in front of the glue. Why? It's because as you talk and you start to move your mouth and you make facial expressions, that wig will start to slide back. If you line it up perfectly with the glue, you may be okay for a few days, but eventually that glue will start to show on the outside and it will get darker. So I try to lay it a little bit in front of the frontal and then uh, well, the frontal a little bit in front of it and then rub it in as you see here. Hopefully that's easy to understand. If not, feel free to ask me questions about it. And no, I did not go in and pluck this frontal. I know um, I'm going to make a video on why I didn't pluck this one or why I choose not to pluck them. But for the most part, long story short, I didn't want to. And also I was in a rush. We were going to an event tonight. Well, this night, and yeah, I didn't have time to do so. But yeah, I'm going to go in and just add the frontal now to the tape area. Just like that. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing I did on this side to the other side. Peel that off, girl. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm talking a lot to them. But yeah, I'm going to make sure that is down. And any areas that, you know, I may have missed in this process, I always make sure to go over those areas after this area or these areas have been taken care of first. And then I massage it in. So yeah, I'm brushing this out and then I'm going to check to make sure there aren't any areas of the wig that still need to be glued down. And as you see, this side actually does have a piece that needs to be glued down. So I'm going to pin this clip back the same way I did before and then go in with a small amount and rub that in. So I add a drop and then I rub this drop in. I don't add any more product. I'm actually just rubbing that drop in. It looks like I'm adding more product after that one little droplet, but I'm not. I'm just rubbing it in with the nozzle because my fingertips are a little too fat. I let that dry and then I go in with the end of my rat, rat tail comb and I massage all of that in. Now, once it's done, I'm going to speed up this part because it's the same, but I go in and I add my little baby hairs, and this is to get rid of that egg shape on my forehead because I chose not to clip um, or pluck my frontal. So yeah, I'm just adding those baby hairs to conceal the fact that I didn't go in and tweeze the heck out of this frontal. Brush that in. Clean it up. And instead of it being straight, I want it to, you know, go ahead and make it add some curls or something into it. Just because we were celebrating something very, very important for you know my friends and family this night as well as the general public so yeah here's a sneak peek of what the night consisted of i hope you all enjoy i wanted to come quickly on here and just emphasize how important tonight was 
for John as well as his friend Corey and their partner Sandy to create the Chicago Land Toy Drive. This event was absolutely amazing. They raised so much awareness about the children of Chicago as well as other children in the world that don't receive gifts on Christmas. So they raised a ton of awareness as well as received a an outpouring of gifts for these children um, amongst other things. So yeah, they're gonna create this, well, start this event on, on an annual basis. And yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of them. Uh, there's more to come, but I just wanted to shout them out. Anyway, back to the video. So I know they're gonna bring out a Do a quick toast, then I'm going to talk about John. Gotta get him. And just because I don't want y'all to forget or act like you didn't know, give it up to Sandy once again for this open bar. <laughs> I mean, make a little bit more noise than that for the open bar. Oh, please, do it. Okay. We're going to do a quick toast, and then we're going to talk about John Bodie. I know John likes that. So, to this host committee, and to all of you, our guests, who are quiet and listening to us talk for just a moment. We just want to say cheers if you got a drink in your hand. Cheers to the kids who are relying on us and who need us. And cheers to your all, to this host committee's hard work. And everybody give it up for Kyle Santillia, please. And I know you guys out there grooving. Give it up for Leon Rogers back there. Spin it for y'all, too. I wasn't there for long, but I was there for the time. So, John come in the middle. The men can gather around him. Is Lola here? Jay, where you at? Jay, get up here. Jay not paying attention. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. What did I do? Y'all need to listen to this. This is important. I'm talking about John Bodie. I'm serious. So, I met John a couple years ago. I said a couple. John is a little younger. A couple years ago. If you can hear me, say yes. Yes! Could y'all please be quiet for one second? Please, for one second. Everybody in the back. If you can hear me, say yes! Yes! Could you please be quiet for one second? One second. So, I met John... We were both students at SIUC Carbondale. So Lucas, give us some noise one more time. And John was a phenomenal student leader then, and John is an even greater leader now. And I was so impressed with John when I met him. But I always tell John, you know, Issa Rae, I'm rooting for everybody black. It's <laughs> her middle name. Issa Rae, I'm rooting for everybody black. I'm rooting for everybody that's awesome, by the way. Says that. Oftentimes, we look to network and make connections up when we really should be looking across to folks like Erica, Sandy, everybody on this host committee, when you really should be looking at the folks around you like John Bodie, he's one of those people. Not to network up or in a specific, in a specific direction, but to move forward together. And I'm just grateful that I get to move forward together with somebody like John Bodie. I am. I am. And someone that is doing an event like this when their birthday is Thursday. Thursday, the 14th. My birthday was Saturday. He could have he could have asked Sandy and the committee to like not do this around his birthday getting ready to take a little vacation, which he deserves. He works very hard. 
We are all proud of John, and if you're in this crowd proud of him, make some noise. Yeah. So, because it's John's birthday, and John is like such a selfless leader. John is such a selfless leader, and he said, please don't sing happy birthday. We're gonna do exactly what he asked us not to do. And this is when I had to get out of there. For all of you that don't know this, the birthday song terrifies me. Don't ask me why, it just does. And so, yeah, your girl got out of there. Don't judge me. All right, y'all. This is my second time recording this <laughs> because the first time the phone was not, um, it, yeah, I'm recording this on my phone because I don't feel like setting up my camera equipment. Anyway, this is how the hair has held up. It, like, I love this. Like, I love this product. It has a nice hold. There. Okay. Yeah. I could probably tweak this a little bit, but I didn't want to. I just literally needed to throw this on for this event tonight. So it's a little full. Yeah, it's a little full. Anyway, the tape held up similar to the glue. Like, it has the exact same hold and I was sweating the entire time we were out like we literally just got back in and I'm gonna head back up but I was sweating the entire night when I was dancing wearing this and it still stayed in place and to be honest I don't know how I plan on doing my little sister's hair tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to use this or the clean because like to be honest, they're both absolutely amazing. Um I definitely recommend both products. But yeah, this yeah, like I said, excuse like all of that. I just want to put it on. No one noticed. And that's all that matters. But yeah, let me let me show y'all what that looks like. You're not on it. Uh, <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> TJ, what are you doing? Please let me put my hat on, man. Like, right, okay, Sophia, like you're looking good, girl. You're looking good. Yeah, she still turned from earlier. We were having oh, a yeah. good time. All right, show them your nails, Emmy. They actually look cute. Bye. I'm up here looking all raggedy, <laughs> hands all <laughs> on strong veins, like, <laughs> like, like gym veins. <laughs> um, oh wait, who had this light on? Any of y'all parents tell y'all to to turn the lights off so you don't waste. Waste any electricity. Oh yeah, no, my fingers are huge. <laughs> like we're talking about like ring fingers. They're they're ginormous. Anyway, um, yeah. So like I said, I'm trying not to be all over the place. I already know that I am. But this product was absolutely amazing. Um, I'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow, Sophia and myself. Be going to the gym tomorrow, getting a nice, good workout in. So hopefully it holds up. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to sleep in this uh, because I don't feel like taking it out and it's made perfectly. Eventually I'll get to plucking it, but for now it's going to stay full like this. Like I said, I don't need anyone all up in. Like, there wasn't anyone all up and in my um like my plucking or whatever so yeah this is it 
So I'm going to wrap it up. And until next time.